It also has a top-based airflow here, right up top, which being placed up top is gonna prevent any of the internal liquid from spilling out by falling downwards. Howdy gang, and welcome to another Mist Roundup. I am not wearing my Mist hoodie today because it is extremely hot in the United Kingdom, although any of you who live in hotter countries would probably laugh at us if you could actually feel this temperature. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at the very best sub-ohm vape tanks in 2023 so far. Now, most vape tanks these days and vape pods and vape kits usually tend to stray towards an MTL direction because they're generally there to replace cigarettes. But sub-ohm vaping was, of course, what first got people's attention when vaping started to kick off. You couldn't help but notice someone emitting a vast cloud, a big old plume of vapor in the middle of the street, and that was effectively cloud of mouth. That was how people came to realize that vaping was here and it was not going anywhere. And sub ohm vape tanks have come forward by leagues and bounds. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some fantastic sub ohm vape tanks. Each one is going to be brilliant for producing vast amounts of cloud, but each one will have something that makes it a little bit different from the other ones, and it might suit your personal preference. And in the end, we're gonna take a look at what we believe is currently the very best sub ohm vape tank of 2023. Without further ado, let's jump on in and take a look at the first. First up, let's go ahead and jump into something a little bit technically complex. We are going to be taking a look at our favorite RDA. That is, of course, a rebuildable dripping atomizer, but this one has something rather special to it. The Vapors Cloud Sith RSA is an incredibly cloudy platform that you can use to have your own homemade coils. It features a semi-postless deck on the inside, which gives you lots of room to work with, so you can go ahead and install your homemade coils rather intricately, and you can get them nice and placed. It uses Ultim materials to prevent the increase of temperature, so you don't have to worry about this like getting too hot to use, which is useful, considering that you'll probably be using temperature control or bypass modes in order to use the device. But you might have noticed this is called an RSA. How unusual, why would it be called that? Well, the issue with RDAs is that you get incredible clouds off of them and rich flavor, but you do have to be constantly reapplying liquid directly to your coils because it doesn't have a tank to hold the liquid. Can be a little bit frustrating, and that is why the device comes with a pre-installed squonk pin on the base. Now, what is a squonk pin? A squonk pin is a hollow bottom tube which you can use to attach to a squonk mod such as the Vapors Cloud Empire Project just here. It's a simple case of popping it onto there, screwing it in, and at this point, your Sith is now directly connected to this vast e-liquid bottle. So you don't have to be constantly applying new liquid to it. When you're ready to go ahead and get some new juice in there, just give it a little press on there and it goes ahead and douses the coils in a brand new batch of liquid. Incredibly flavorsome, marvelously cloudy. And if you don't have a squonk, not a problem. There is an alternative pin in the pack that you can swap it over so you can just use it as a regular drippable. An incredibly cloudy piece of kit, though we must acknowledge, not necessarily for beginners. But if you are an experienced coil builder, definitely give the SIF RSA a look. Next up, a durable and flavorsome little treat in the form of the Aspire Atlantis GT tank. Once again, a really welcome collaboration between frequent collaborators Aspire and Typhon. We have a tank here designed by Typhon, but produced by Aspire. <clears throat> now, if you are fond of Aspire, you'll probably be aware that their equipment usually has a very sleek steel and glass look to it, and the Atlantis GT is no different. But a closer look reveals a rather sturdier piece of kit than you would usually expect to get. You'll notice a fantastically stylish kind of hexagonal pattern which wraps around the glass and limits the amount of exposed glass that is likely to hit any kind of surface. Nothing to worry about there. You have a rather interesting mouthpiece. I've not actually encountered a mouthpiece that has exactly this look to it. It's short, but it's tapered, so it kind of sits in the middle of suiting both MTL drawers and big cloud drawers, and that is what this tank has been designed for. Refilling it is especially interesting because you've got a little refill hole here. You just turn it, 
and raise it and suddenly you refill on the side. You don't have to unscrew anything. You don't have to slide anything off. You don't have to take the lid off and carry it in another hand while filling out with another. One of the most convenient refill systems I've ever seen, but one of the really standout features of the Atlantis GT tank is the coils. It uses the Aspire Atlantis SE coil system, which is rather interesting in that it eschews the usual canthal that most coils tend to utilize. The Aspire SE coils instead use nichrome, which is a very common material for those who like to build their own coils. What this results in is a far more flavorsome and cloudy puff every single time. The Aspire Atlantis GT tank is a gorgeous, long lasting, durable, and exceptionally flavorsome piece of kit. And yet again, a wonderful collaboration between Aspire and Typhoon. We love it when we can get those two in a room together. Now we've got another rebuildable for you, but this one is a little bit more streamlined, which might please those of you who found the SIF device a little bit intimidating. We've got the Hellvape Dead Rabbit 3. This is an RTA, not to be confused with an RDA. An RDA, similar to the old one, is the one where you would be dripping liquid directly onto the coils every few minutes, to be honest, which can be annoying, but some people will do whatever they have to to get the biggest clouds and flavor possible. But RTAs are a little bit different. These, once again, do utilize homemade coils that you build yourself and install yourself. But this time, it comes with a TPD compliant two mil e-liquid catchment area that you can fill up the same way you would a regular vape tank. So you don't have to worry about constantly reapplying new juice. It also has a top-based airflow here, right up top, lovely wide open airflow, which being placed up top is gonna to prevent any of the internal liquid from spilling out by falling downwards. And if we take a look on the inside, we can also see that Hell Vape have provided us with a postless deck, which gives us the maximum amount of room to work with, making it easier than ever to get your homemade coils installed. Nothing to worry about there. Super simple and very durably built. So the Hellvate Dead Rabbit 3, once again, is a rebuildable and it is not necessarily for beginners. Those of you who are into the convenience of vaping are gonna find it a little bit frustrating to build your own coils, even if Hellvate give you all of these packings, including a couple pre-made DIY coils, so you've got a bit of a reference to work with, as well as some organic cotton, tools, Allen key, screwdrivers, whatever you need. So if you are looking to get started building your own coils, definitely worth taking a look at the Dead Rabbit 3 because it has everything you need to begin crafting your own coil legacy. Now a little something from Smok in the form of the Smok T-Air Subtank, a marvelously cloudy piece of kit from Smok, which bears a striking resemblance to some of their old classic tanks like the Baby Beast and other devices such as the TFV8, etc. Smok have of course started to focus a little bit more on pods these days, but it is excellent to see that they can still roll up their sleeves and kick out a stonkingly powerful and remarkably clean sub and vape tank. I emphasize clean because it is often the case when using a traditional sub and vape tank that you might end up with a little bit of juice on your fingers. It happens, but Smok have really put a lot of time into trying to eliminate that e-liquid leak problem. One of the first things they've done is they've taken their airflow and placed it right up top, meaning that gravity is not gonna force your liquid out of the tank. But speaking of the airflow adjustment, just take a look at that. You've got a beautiful honeycomb style airflow adjustment slider. Because you've got all of those various little holes at just tiny little increments of placement, that gives you the ability to fully customize exactly how much airflow you get through this tank. It's often the case with a lot of sub ohm bait tanks that you get maybe three or four different options and you've got to decide which one of those you like. With the TS sub tank, you get to decide exactly how cloudy it's going to be. Changing coils is an absolute doddle with this tank as well because they have gone and taken their old screw in designs and tossed those straight in the bin. Nope, now you just get a lovely, simple and smooth push to fit installation. Just that simple, pull it out, go ahead, push it in, get the little things lined up, in it goes, 
You're not gonna have to worry about it. Filling it up is just as simple. You go ahead, unscrew the top, and you just lift it up. You get two little refill ports there. A little bit disappointing. It doesn't have a sliding top fill to it, but this does ultimately mean there's less possible braking aspects to it. So if you're looking for a sub end vape tank, it's going to give you clean hands and a lovely amount of vast vapor. Definitely take a look at the Smuck T Air Sub Tank. The penultimate tank now, and we got a cloudy treat for you in the form of the Vupu U-Force L tank. A phenomenally cloudy tank, which is also a very unique stealth sub -ohm device. The U-Force L utilizes the classic Vupu PNP coil system, which gives you a wide range of coils to choose from, including a 1.2 model, but we don't necessarily recommend you use the 1.2 coil in this tank because as you can see, it is very much designed for big cloud action. One of the main things that's gonna be giving you those big clouds is its airflow system. You'll notice there are not one, not two, but three air inlets on the tank, meaning that when you take an inhale, you get the maximum amount of air coverage circling right in there. Although you can of course close them up if you do want to tighten things up. Not every puff has to be the biggest one you've ever taken. You've also got a really nice design in the form of an e-liquid reservoir at the base of the tank. Meaning if there's any condensed juice on the side that slips out and gets away from the coil, it's not going to go through your airflow because that's based up here. Instead, it's going to land in the bottom of the tank and it's going to reabsorb back into the coils, recycling your e-liquid and ensuring that you don't lose out on a single tasty drop. And I mentioned earlier that this is a stealth sub -ohm tank. If you're a sub -ohmer, and if you're watching this video, chances are you are, you will know that sub -ohm vaping carries a characteristic hiss when done. You know, it's not a particularly quiet situation. You know, people can generally hear you doing it, but the airways inside the U4Cell have been specifically designed to cut back on harsh noise. Now it's not completely silent, it's still a little bit louder than most MTLs, but if you do want to do some big cloud action, but you don't want to draw too much attention, the Vupu U4Force L is a perfect choice, giving you absolute maximum amounts of vapor, really excellent selection of coils, which are really easy to install, and a nice crowd-pleasingly quiet functionality. An excellent choice for anyone who wants to pop out a big cloud and not draw too much attention. And finally, what we consider to be the very best sub ohm vape tank so far in 2023, we have gone with the Vaporesso iTank 2, a phenomenal piece of cloudy kit. The Vaporesso iTank 2 has a frankly gorgeous level of design to it. It has an elegance which has a series of brutalist ridges on the outside, which are both eye catching but also reserved and somber enough to not seem meretricious. On the inside, you've got a gorgeously designed coil cage, which does make it easy to change your coils without losing any juice, just in case of turning it upside down. This also takes the GTI coil series, which is fantastically flavorsome and kicks out monumental amounts of cloud. The tank also has a self-cleaning system similar to the U-Force L, meaning that any escaping juice is gonna go straight back into the coil. So even though this one has bottom-based airflow, which normally we would knock some points off for, you're still likely to have a completely clean experience. And one of my favorite things about this tank when it comes to refilling it, you've got a button release refill mechanism. Take a look. Oh, that is tight. It's got a really lovely action to it. Oh, it's very responsive. It's almost like a sub ohm switchblade here. Those coils I mentioned earlier as well, the GTIs, they utilize the Core X design on the inside. What this means is they're gonna deliver you MTL levels of flavor through a sub ohm vape tank. And there are very few sub ohm cloud tanks that can boast of that kind of flavor production. So if you are looking for one of the most flavorsome sub ohm tanks it's going to have a nice clean experience and one of the most convenient and satisfying refill mechanisms I've ever encountered in a sub ohm vape tank definitely give the Vaporesso iTank 2 a shot. Thank you for watching guys and we hope that you've enjoyed this roundup of what we believe are the very best sub ohm vape tanks of 2023. Leave us a comment if there's a tank that you think we've missed out on and let us know what you'd like to see more of in the future. Did you enjoy seeing the simple sub ohm tanks or were you excited to see some of that rebuildable stuff featured? We would love to know how that sits with you. Have a great day guys, be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you again soon.